In this quick video, we are going to run through what you're able to do as a Garmin Builders Renovations and Restorations Trade Partner in BuilderTrend. BuilderTrend is going to be your means of receiving all the pertinent information about any of the jobs you are on at Garmin Renovations and Restorations. On the summary page, you are going to see any to-dos that you are assigned to, a work schedule snapshot, any recent daily logs, you have the ability to see any RFIs, and you have the ability to see any comments that you were involved with. You also can see any messages that you have in your inbox. You can see the change orders that you are part of, and you can see the weather. Now the far left column is where you're going to find a list of all your jobs. If you have multiple builders that are on BuilderTrend, keep in mind that you will want to use your same credentials as you activate yourself with those other builders. By doing that, that's going to give you the ability to jump around from builder to builder and job to job without having to log out or in each time. When you link them, you are going to see a list of all your jobs with all your builders here. There will be a logo beside each job where the cursor is that indicates which builder it is. You will also have the ability up top here that you can go directly to one builder set of jobs instead of having to view that combined list of them by simply clicking on the builder here that you are on and you can select the builder that you would like. Now to view the information in Builder Trend is as simple as viewing it one project at a time. So on this left hand side, if you want to view information about the Trade Partner Training Demo, click on the job and your summary page will be specific to that job. With that, each of the tabs on the top Excluding the Financials tab will be job specific. So you can view information one job at a time by clicking on a specific job. Or you can view all the jobs at once by clicking on the all five listed jobs. The tabs on top will change over to giving you information on all jobs at once. Now to go through each tab on the top bar, your first tab is the house. You will scroll down over the house icon and see two drop-ins. The first is summary. By clicking that, it will take you to the summary page. The second drop down is job info. So if you want to view information about trade partner training demo job, go ahead and click on job info and you will be redirected to a page that will just give you general information. You can see the address. You can also pull up a map of where that job is located by clicking on Map It. You can see who the field supervisor is under Project Managers. You can also see any certain notes about the job. So if there is something there about a lockbox or any other general information that info will be in those job notes. The next tab is project management. When you scroll over that, you're going to see a list of other items. The first being the schedule. The schedule tab, you'll see you can either view one project at a time or you can use your all listed views and you can see all of, the, all of your jobs that you have. 
For this training, we're going to stay in the trade partner training demo. You're going to see your list of schedule here. If you only want to view items that pertain to you, you can go to the filter section and select assigned to me in the assigned to box. And then click update results. And you're going to see everything that it pertains to you for those schedule items. Within the schedule item, you will see what you will be doing, the date you will be starting at, the date you will need it done by, and under attachments, you're going to see a PDF, which is going to be your PO. When you select on that, you can bring up your PO. When the schedule is released by Garmin, you will receive an email notification with the information and the PO from Builder Trend. You will be asked to confirm the date, so please make sure you respond to the notification if you can do those dates or not. It is suggested that you check your schedules often so you can see the, any schedule changes that may occur. You will also get notifications to your email from Builder Trend of those changes. The next item under project management are daily logs. Now the daily logs are just daily updates for what's happening on that project and this allows you to view that information. So here you can see that there was a log created on August 11th um, indicating that you want to talk to the plumber and figure out what you're doing with the cut in for the bathtub. The next item under project management are to-dos, which is access into viewing any of the to-dos that you're assigned to on a project. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. And at this point, you'll be able to reference any of the to-dos. If you have questions, you can comment back and forth in this section down here under messaging. Then you can mark those complete once you have them done here. And you can go ahead and save that and close. Your next item under project management is change orders. This will be your access to any of the change orders that Garmin is sharing with you. Now once you open this information, we'll click on the sync selection. You'll see that you can reference the title, see the approval status, the description, and any files that have been added to it under attachments. The change order will be your official notification of the change to the scope of work or selections. Back up to the tabs and you will see files. Under, under files you will see documents. Your documents drop down is again going to be job specific. So if you want to view documents about trade partner training demo, you can select that and go into my documents area. And now you've got the plans for that project. You got the scope of work and your selection sheets. It is important that you check the documents folder on each job to ensure that you have the information you need. The photos and videos work just the same as documents. They're going to be job specific. So if you need to reference anything in either of those tabs, make sure you're on the correct project and then go to that photos area. And you'll be able to reference any of the albums with the photos in them or videos. The next tab is messaging. 
The messaging, messaging tab is where you can communicate directly about a project. The first drop down is comments. You're going to see these attached to various items in Builder Trend. They are very similar to carrying a text communication except for it's keeping it specific about a photo in this instance. So this is just a comprehensive list of all comments by one job or again you can pull up comments for all listed jobs. You can start or reply to comments here on a specific item that lives in another section. The next drop down under messaging is messages. This works the same as email. Here you can see all of the messages pertaining to a specific job. You can reply to messages or you can compose a new message directly within the project. I'll go ahead and select a the trade partner training demo. You can see here that you have the ability to select the internal staff that you would like to communicate with. You can also, by clicking on the plus button, add an external email for someone who is outside um, that you would like to have receive this email. You will then want to add the subject and add your body within the email. You can also add an attachment if you need be. Next under messaging are RFIs. This is where you can send Garmin a quick question about a clarification on a specific item. For instance, you can see renovations test has a question about drywall and then our estimating purchasing department has responded to that RFI. The last tab is financial. It is not job specific because this is where your bids are and it's going to allow you to see all bids no matter what job you're selected on. Now for your bids, you're going to receive information every time that a bid package is released to you. You're going to receive an email notification, and in that email, there's always an activate button that you can hit directly to the bid package. Now, if you don't have that email, you can always log in, go to your bids area, and in here, you'll see a list of all your open bids. Trend also broke out your won and lost bids and they also give you a comprehensive list of all your bids. Now in your open bids tab, you can see there's a deadline if you are bidding or not, your bid amount, and the status of that bid. So to see bid information, simply, cl simply click on a bid and then you can respond up here, yes, no, or maybe. If yes or maybe, you can enter your bid amount along with any details of the bid, along with any attachments that you would want to add. Then once complete, you can go ahead and click Submit. You will be notified if you have won or lost the bid. Now over in the far right corner, you are going to see a question mark and the cogwheel. The question mark is your help center. You can go into the help center to look up tutorials, any help videos, and you also have the ability to reach out to Builder Trend for help. And the last thing we will cover here is in the setup 
underneath the cogwheel. So within the setup, if you ever need to update your primary information, such as your contact name, address, business phone, email, you can do that all here. You also have the option to submit your certificates of insurance. If you have multiple builders that you're linked to, you can set up your, your items per builder by going underneath this section here. I hope this video has helped and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to a Garmin Builders Renovations team member or to Builder Trend. Thank you for watching.